chain in his life. From Santa Claus. Yeah. Oh, and how dorky of me. This is from Santa Claus. Is this tape of any legal value to the medical examiner or anyone else investigating why a young woman, 39 years old, died unexpectedly in a Florida hotel? Does the video show an event, though, that's too remote in time to, have, to her death to have any significance in the investigation? Join us from Tampa Defense Attorney Jeff Brown and Prosecutor Pam Bondi. Jeff, first, um, I'm struck by, and we'll get to the tape, that Dr. Eroshevich, who is her personal psychiatrist, that's how she's described, is spending all this time in the fall with her and then holding the child in that video almost like a nanny. Um, strike you as odd? Yeah, it strikes me as odd. I mean, it's, it's quite clear that Anna Nicole is on some sort of a drug. I mean, you can listen to the way she's slurring her speech and her behavior. So it's surprising to me that you have a, a medical doctor that's in there and just seems to be oblivious to it. So um, it's just disturbing on a multitude of levels. However, uh, as far as legally significant, I think it's way too far in time from her death. It may give somebody an idea of the drug history of people that are, that are with her, that know about what's going on. But legally speaking, I think it's way too remote to be used by law enforcement. Pam, you're a prosecutor in, in Florida where, of course, she died and where it will be investigated if there's a criminal investigation. Um, it, this tape reflects what was going on at Christmas time, two months uh, before she died. Too remote to have any value, or as a prosecutor, would you be interested in this tape? As a prosecutor, um, I would be interested in interviewing the doctor after seeing that. Yes, it's too remote in time, of course, to be the drugs that killed her, but if this doctor, who's her personal psychiatrist, a medical doctor, is there with her, smiling, holding the baby, when, I mean, in, in my opinion, she clearly looks wasted on the video, and we're not doctors, um, I think it is a shocking video, and I think it's very important to talk to the doctor and say, hey, did you prescribe these drugs? What else did you see going on? What, was she taking a lethal combination of drugs based on, based on this video? And look, Look at the doctor smiling there in the video like nothing's wrong with, with her behavior. You know, Jeff, that raises an interesting point. I mean, we watch this video, and I suspect that most people think, whoa, what, she's, what is she on? And this psychiatrist is a medical doctor. I mean, I, I would assume that she would have some sort of, we all have reservation looking at it. What questions would you want to ask that doctor, if you want to ask that doctor questions? Oh, if I'm the prosecutor, I want to get a whole drug history. I want to know what she's prescribed, when she's prescribed it. I want to, want to have her watch that video. I'd be in there with my investigator saying, watch this video. Aren't you disturbed by this? It's clear to us that she's on something. What is she on? You're there. You knew. You need to tell us what was going on. I think they can put a heavy hammer on her and say, listen, uh, we're going to keep looking at you unless you begin to discuss with us what's going on. And I would have her start talking about Howard K. Stern. What's he doing? Why is he watching, filming this video? Why is isn't he disturbed by this? I think you could, you could certainly begin, begin an investigation with this. You may not be able to use it legally, but I think you could certainly start here and start asking questions. And of course, you also folded back to the fact that, uh, at least there, if, uh, on onefoxnews.com, there was that, that receipt uh, several months earlier requesting those drugs and that fax. I would have questions about that as well to sort of fold it. Yeah. All right, Pam, Jeff, both of you stand by. And here's a look at what's coming up after this show on the